using mobile technology in libraries, user-friendly, personalized services, easily access to information, time-saving technology, user participation, information of location, unlimited access, access to special users, use of mobile devices in library is a new concept today, age of information. In this regard, we have organized uh, this conference. I am sure that the conference will definitely useful for all the allies professionals to improve their services and perform their job of information provider in a successful manner. I once again welcome all the dignitaries, participants, and wish you all very happy Azadi Kamahasso. Thank you very much. I request to my best friend, Dr. Chalukya. <coughs> Chalukya, sir. Thank you, Kati, sir, for the introduction. Thank you once again. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Myself, I am Dr. D. V. Chalukya, librarian of Sri Chhatrapati Shivaji College, Umarga, Maharashtra. I am happy to greet all of you here on the behalf of organizers and host of International Conference on Mobile Technology and welcome you here. The theme of conference is not accidental because libraries have always adopted new technologies to assist in their objective of providing clients with effective and efficient services as well as timely access to needed information. Implementation of ICT has changed the way people access and communicate information. Users want easy and instant access to relevant information, putting pressure on library and information science. Think out of the box for meeting their information needs application of mobile phones to provide library and information services are significant step in the in this direction the development of mobile technology has resulted in shifting the academic environment from traditional to mobile learning settings finally it conceives the future of mobile library technology today whole these are there are more than 600 participants from all over India and abroad. This conference will help to clear view and knowledge about how to use mobile technologies. Today also that physical borders are gone and we all gather in this online conference to share our experiences and skills. I hope this conference will not become a platform where we, sh we all share our experience but also help in our educational field to get new standards. I wish you all a great day and wish you good luck. Thank you. Our today's resource person is Dr. Gitanjali Ji, Professor and HOD of Management and Head Entrepreneurship Development Sale at Nagarjuna College of Engineering and Technology, Bangalore. Without wasting our time, I request our today's resource person, Dr. Gitanjali Madam, to introduce herself and proceed for the guidance on the topic of conference. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a very good morning to all the participants uh, for this one day international conference 2022. And I thank the organizers from Sri Chhatrapati Shivaji College, Lokamanya Tilak Mahavidyalai, and Srimati Sushila Devi Deshmukh Mahavi, Maha, Mahila Mahavidyalai uh, for choosing uh, the very relevant topic, mobile technologies, use of mobile devices in library. And I uh, thank the organizers for such a warm uh, welcome and setting the uh, topic for today. Uh, I thank uh, Dr. Vivi Chalukya and Dr. Uh, D. Uh, Dakpe and uh, as well as uh, Dr. N. R. Kate for uh, giving such a warm welcome to me. Uh, before we go with this, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, is it Arif sir? Can you please share the presentation? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <clears throat> giving their answers. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. If uh, yeah, uh, the audience request if they so we find. Uh, please go to the next slide, sir. So we find uh, the information and communication technology has changed our lifestyle in all aspects. As human beings, we are always attached with a lot of essential things in our life, uh, whether it might be jobs, whether it might be education, whether it might be banking, as uh, uh, Sir had put, put across already. There are a lot many changes that has uh, changed our life, and these are all become part and parcel of our life, everyday life. It was very hard uh, to get into uh, touch with these before technology has changed our life and made it very easier for us. It has contributed to a lot of uh, things that have taken place. Say, for example, uh, earlier, if you had to send some communication, writing a letter and posting it, and the, the concerned person to whom we were sending the letter would have taken a month. But right now, just by sending one email, one message on a WhatsApp, or one message on a te Telegram, or whatever mode, medium that you might be using, it becomes easier in a minute, not even a minute. It doesn't even take a minute for the receiver to receive that message. So from, and when it comes to shopping, earlier we used to go to shops, buy the, look at the, search for the products and buy things, whatever we wanted. But now we are using e-commerce uh, uh, portals to buy goods, whatever we, we require. And there is not necessary for you to go to a shop to collect those goods. So a lot of changes have taken place. So the information and communication technolo technologies have provided a faster access to information. And uh, it is also a challenging the librarians to rethink and remodel their services, adopting the technological changes. It, it, it becomes very important that the libraries around the world have to shift to the changes that is very relevant and very apt and very required. In uh, mobile, when we see mobile devices, which were initially these devices uh, were used with the intention to replace telephones using wireless technology. But now they have become very important part of daily communication, not only uh, for uh, tele uh, no people to call, but for many other purpose. These mobile devices are now popularly used, especially uh, for surfing the web, or listening to music, You're, you might be watching television on your uh, mobile device, you might be reading books, or you're interacting with friends. And especially with the onset of pandemic, we are all, I think since last two years, all of us are using our mobile devices for various other purpose, be it for educational purpose, or be it for doing online transactions, we are extensively dependent on our mobile gadgets. So from last decade, the mobile phones has become one of the major interfaces where people use to access and share information. And uh, please move to the next slide, sir. If we look at the libraries, they are really social institutions you find libraries connecting people with people no i think some of you uh, can recall the old uh, age old memories where uh, in your libraries people those who have maybe not the uh, in case of public libraries people who have retired would come read some books and hang around with their friends after uh, library hours so libraries have become a social institutions where they're connecting people with people and they are connecting people with information. And libraries all over the world are continuously reinventing themselves to meet with the changing community needs. They are aware of the increasing opportunities and they're also aware of the challenges that these technologies that they are bringing in. So libraries are no longer just the physical places. As most of the library users, uh, users of late, if you find most of them are owning mobile phones and most of them are using smartphones. So it is time for these libraries to take advantage of mobile technology. 
So nowadays, libraries digitalize their collection to provide multiple and wide range of access through web. So presently, we, you all must be, all, all the libraries are using, are ready to adopt new technologies and using uh, Wi-Fi facilities, a barcode system, RFID system, mobile communication technology, a lot many things to cope to the needs of the users. So nowadays, libraries are functioning in a, a very user-centered, technology-based atmosphere, providing individualized value-added services. The internet and networking of libraries and information centers, these are all have facilitated information access 24 bar 7 at one's fingertips. It becomes so easy for me, for any person to access this information. And the library and information science professionals are not merely caretakers of books. They are just not concerned with only caretaking of books. They do a very challenging task of satisfying information needs of various users. And the challenge is more in a scenario where the needs and preferences of the users are changing. So the librarians and other informational professionals, you need to be in touch with these technological changes and adopt these changes and stay connected with the users and provide uh, whatever the instant and uh, next generation facilities to these people. So as I said, the Darwin theory of survival of fittest it's now suitably applicable to all the libraries. If, 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 you don't, if you don't change, right? If you don't change according to the present changing environment, then uh, whatever, the, according to the requirement of the ICT, then they cannot survive. So you should be changing. You should be changing as per the requirements, as per the changing environmental needs, then only you will be able to survive otherwise libraries will remain only as a mere warehouse of books they'll, they'll remain as mere uh, warehouse of books and this empty places will be taken over by computer professionals so it's very important that uh, librarians have to adapt to the changes that is taking place in the environment of ict so let's uh, let's look into this mobile technology uh, as you all know mobile technology is defined as a uh, handheld information technology device or artifacts that encompass hardware devices, software, and communication. So we have a uh, hardware device, we have an interface and application, and we have a network service. All these put together, we call it as the mobile technology. And with the mobile technology, there is a trend called libraries in hand. And the statistics says that as on 30th October 2020, the total telephone connections, it was it rose to 1,171.72 million, and out of which 1,151.73 million were mobile connections. So it shows the teledensity uh, that is being used in India, where 86.37% of the population uses mobile phones. And when it comes to rural areas, 58.85% of the uh, uh, rural population uses the mobile phones. So communication basically involves transmission of ideas between two or more entities. And the use of ICT has brought a lot of changes. It has brought structural changes. It has brought cultural changes. It has brought behavioral changes. In a way, people access the information, organize the information, and communicate the information. These technologies have eliminated the constraints of space and time. Now we are not bounded by time and space. We have, we have transferred, the technology has transformed the world into a global village. And anything, any problem on, on this earth, you can find solutions on the internet through mobile phone. The majority of the users are having mobile phones and therefore there is provision for library services through mobile among university and college students. So every library has to take care of these aspects. Uh, can we move to the next slide? <laughs> next slide, please. You 
want next slide, ma'am? Yes, next slide, please. Okay, when we say mobile uh, 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 growth, if you ha have a look into this uh, particular slide here, we see the mobile growth, uh, this was predicted that it continues to grow through 2020-20. And, and if you see the people with mobile phones, there are 5.4 billion more than people with electricity or with basic requirements. People with basic requirements like water, only 3.5 billion. But then people with mobile phones, there are 5.4 billion. That is 69% of global population is using mobile phones. Next slide, sir. And if, if you see here in 2020-20, the smartphone users were 448.2 million users were there. And among these internet users, 564.5 million users were internet users. So there is a total mobile subscri subscription to the extent of 5,690 million mobile. Look at the look at the size or the amount of uh, mobile users are there using the who are using the ICT enabled uh, tools and making use of these mobile devices for various aspects of their life. Uh, let's go to the next slide, sir. And we'll also see that the percentage of global mobile traffic, it is 50%. That means globally 56% of the population are dependent on uh, mobile usage. So all these statistics talks about the importance of mobile phones in the lives of each, each and every one of us. So we are so dependent on these mobile IT devices. Next slide, please. So when we look at mobile IT devices, it includes uh, the mobile IT devices basically uses a variety of communication uh, technologies. It can be, as you all know, the Wi-Fi facilities, the wireless fidelity, uh, wireless local area network technology. It uses Bluetooth, which connects mobile devices wirelessly. And we also have third generation and fourth generation uh, global system for GSM as well as GPRS enabled data services. Now, all these uh, communication technologies, the mobile devices such as laptops or it might be notebooks, palm top computers or personal digital assistants, mobile phones, smartphones, GPS devices, whatever may be. So all these are part of mobile IT devices. Next slide, sir. Yes. So these are all part of the mobile IT devices. Move to the next slide, sir. So now uh, let's understand what are the, the benefits of mobile library. Now, mobile technology offers uh, an economical way to upgrade and improve the efficiency of library services by allowing a fast exchange of information and easy access to library services among multiple library users and at the same time, even while they're all moving. So it benefits a lot of people and uh, for those who cannot access larger, the bigger libraries in the city, the larger libraries in the city, mobile library brings to them the benefits of library services. We can borrow books, read books and enhance our reading capabilities. For students or for those who just want to have a quick glance at old and new books, they get a chance to do with the mobile uh, technology. So the, the, as we say, as we all know, the use of mobile technology has grown over, uh, no, over uh, in the last decade and uh, it, its uses are still going up in a very fast rate because it is cheaper than computer and easy and handy and it is influenced daily life of a common man to a great extent. The mobile phone, it provides internet access to people who may not be able to afford computers. So that's uh, this growth and uh, use of mobile technology uh, because of 
it is very simple for us to use a phone it is not much costly compared to the uh, computers that you need to buy and it is portable it is easy for us to carry anywhere at any time you can use it so uh, overall uh, in uh, any part of the world many colleges and university libraries are they are successfully providing library services through mobile phone so there are a lot of advantages so here uh, the first one say ability to access information information access from anywhere at any time will be of great help for users who cannot visit library in person it provides a constant link to required information resources so you can click a link and you access you can access the information uh, from the library then user participation uh, through designing of mobile based website library makes it more interactive by uh, they'll be adding chat rooms or blogs or social interface many other things so libraries can enrich online public access catalog by allowing users to incorporate these user created content like notes or images uploaded by the users so users participation is there when we think about mobile technology then it's a user friendly interface uh, familiarity with their own devices since your uh, person is familiar with his own device it becomes easy for them to understand their uh, handset so uh, they they are very much uh, accessing information quickly and does not require orientation and training uh, mobile users are using the facilities on mobile phone like sms instant messaging or web browsing or it might be email very effortlessly and they try to communicate so most of these features are pre installed on mobile devices so it becomes uh, very easy for them so that it's a mobile phones has this user friendly interface then in case of uh, access to print disabled users there are uh, people who cannot read so there are these mobile communications which help for, you know such kind of services where orally or vision disabled or physically handicapped users can use uh, with the uh, aud uh, audio content of the recording so it is helpful to the uh, all the print disabled users also and it saves time it saves the user time users required to come to library from their mobile phones they can easily access library a lot of online public uh, things are available so they can easily uh, access and know the status of available resources that is there in the library so users need not record even the information about resources while browsing they just need to search and read whatever they require also they need not save it or store it it's always available uh, from the library uh, source through which they are reading it so it becomes easier for them and they need not uh, wait at the library tra transaction counter to get the book or to renew the book or to reserve book so they're not wasting much of the time so it becomes easier for them so there is a lot of time saving happening and there is a personalized service uh it helps uh, library services helps users to interact with library staff to seek specific information or reference even when they are away from library so in mobile services users may be categorized in many sections and according to the needs librarians can provide services to them so you can also make it personalized services with mobile technology then it's a user friendly most library uses uh, users use mobile phones and they are easily uh access web based information through mobiles also so it's user friendly and there is no geographical restrictions right from any part of the globe you can you, if you have a membership from uh, in any library even if you are having a you no know, it might be the library might be in some other country right and you have a membership you can access to the information uh, from that particular library so only thing is you need to have a, a good internet active internet connection access to the library website and a smart mobile phone so these things are required and there is no geographical restrictions at all and there is mass access a single resource of the library can be accessible from many mobile phones right so there is a, a one book particular book that a person wants to read if you think of a, a a physical library if you might be having a say 10 copies of a particular book and all 10 copies are issued 
if somebody wants to have the book you have to say that you have to come when the book is been written by the user but in case of a mobile technology there is one single resources that you post it on your uh, platform and this resources is available accessible by many mobile uh, users so many people at a time can use the same or read the same book so that's that's among access facility that you are giving and then you get a quick feedback through mobile technology users can get a very quick feedback related to library services and get quick response related to whatever queries they might be having so it's easier to communicate and get the queries sorted out and there is a multi response service so uh, when we say multi response service uh, mobile there are, there are uh, library uh, services or mobile reference systems where there is an integration of uh, uh, say conversational like artificial intelligence namely that um, you have a chatbot or ask a librarian so they, they can respond multiple users at the same time so somebody keeps asking a question a chatbot goes on giving a reply to it so there is a multiple respond uh, services that has been provided and there is a location awareness mobile communication enables uh, libraries to offer location based services content through gps all these things so there there are a lot of uh, advantages when you go for mobile technology uh, we'll go to the next slide sir okay application of mobile technology in libraries though it has facilitated librarians and libraries to provide very fast information services to the users there are a lot of benefits of this application but there are also certain limitations uh, of this technology uh, the first one is le less uh, bandwidth speed so in india especially internet speed on mobile phones are the major problems right so due to slow downloading or uploading speed you uh, know because of that users have difficulties in accessing these services from their mobile phones so this is the major uh, limitation uh, while using mobile technology then to the libraries the initial cost for installing the system is little quite high because most of the libraries they depend on the host institution so if the institution provides or set aside a budget for the library then they will be able to incorporate all these uh, systems in their libraries so the initial cost is high then there is a issue with content ownership licensing and digital rights management so in a digital era uh, we find there is continuous increase and there is number of users so it's very difficult for the libraries to maintain ownership of uh, you no know, copyrights of digital contents so there are many changes in technologies it's very difficult but then uh, to uh, the librarians have to keep track of all these things see that the content ownership is retained license has been retained the digital rights are been properly managed and uh privacy and security again it's very difficult for libraries to maintain their privacy and security of their resources because there are mass use of their e resources so there could be mishandling or misuse of e resources or there might be violation of copyrights uh copyright laws or maybe the wrong distribution so there are a lot many common uh, things that might happen so it is necessary for libraries to develop tools and techniques to stop such kind of a practices and then there is lack of trained staff so when we say the field of library and information science uh, basically you're all good at the management of library and the books but when it comes to technology there is requirement for the librarians also to be skilled in this particular area so there is a lack of technically known and skilled staff that can manage and take care of all these things then uh user education users again when it comes to users uh, they are also less aware of how to access uh, and use library resources so they need some kind of a user education program so that they can effectively and efficiently use all these library services so it becomes as a librarians you need to educate your students educate your staff and everyone to make use of these uh, mobile technology with reference to library services but before we uh, adapt or use the system there are certain steps that we need to implement for mobile library services the first one is identify the framework so a mobile user study every every library i don't know how many of you are having these uh, 
mobile library services. I would like to know uh, from the participants here how many of you have mobile library services. Yeah, <clears throat> dear participants, uh, you can uh, write your answer in the chat box. We would like to know how many libraries are already implemented these uh, mobile library services. They don't have, ma'am. A maximum people don't have, madam. Okay, so they are not using this. Right, fine. Uh, so it's good that all of you can implement these mobile library services. So let's look into these uh, steps that before you implement, all of you should be doing a mobile user study. This is very much uh, no important uh, because you need to know uh, first and foremost uh, how many libraries think uh, that you people are uh, you no know, your students are using mobile phones in your institutions. Uh, okay, just they can say yes. Uh, most of the students use mobile phones. There might be some uh, libraries in remote areas where their students might be unable to have access to all these internet and mobile facilities. So what is the percentage? I would like to know from the audience. What is the response, sir? Madam, it is 5% uh, on the average. Okay. And some say 90%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it depends on the, uh, the place of the library. In case of cities, you find most of the students using mobile phones. But in case of remote areas, it's very difficult to find the students uh, using mobile phones. So first and foremost, you need to identify the framework. So a mobile user study should be done. Okay, before you develop a strategy, before you structure the mobile uh, uh, no, uh, library services, first and foremost, ensure that there are adequate number of mobile users. So when there are no users, there's no point of introducing the system. So you need to ensure that there are adequate number of mobile users, and then you can implement uh, the changes. And second, you need to do the need analysis. Especially if you see the present uh, coronavirus crisis, it has uh, now become a huge problem for the library and uh, information professionals uh, how to disseminate the information. So it, it's become a challenge. So you're looking at the need. So then you think, OK, these, these are the challenges. If you all see that the work from home or usage of mobile devices or learning through mobile devices, it's all have uh, the, the requirement or the need has increased due to the pandemic also. So you need to do the need analysis. Why do we need these uh, mobile library services, right? Why, why is the technology, mobile technology we need to use? So there might be uh, mobile-based reference library services, which has helped uh, librarians to reach out to the target uh, users or maybe their students. Uh, they're able to connect to the students. So that's very important. So you need to do the need analysis. And you also should see whether a, if there is any specialized on personalized information system, uh, information services can be achieved through these technologies, or is it available? All this analysis has to be done. And then you need to study the mobile infrastructure and availability of staffing. So mobile devices uh, today can run increasingly complex software. They can interact with cloud services, they can play rich multimedia content, and they can allow for advanced user interactivity. 
and there are new hardware and technologies so we have a lot of technologies like bluetooth bluetooth it can be or multi touch screens accelerometers uh, then we have text messaging android phone software application mobile websites we have gps mobile hotspot we make use of it so there are a lot of things which are all part of mobile environment so you can use this the mobile environment the mobile technology which is easier it is the simplest technology among all other ict components and it's easy to understand carry and it's very economically affordable and not much of specialized skills are required for the currently employed information technology staff so you need to identify what kind of a mobile infrastructure is available and what uh, what is the availability of staffing whether staff requires skills or not so all these things need to be analyzed then we have resource identification so what is the resource that is available so library information services requires one acquiring the information do you have sufficient information and then organize that information and disseminate pass on this information to the required uh, users so it, you are acquiring organizing and disseminating the information now a library needs to be assured that they are having sufficient availability of digital content in library so that's very important so uh, do, do, do your library has dig digital content before you go for mobile you cannot say that i will be launching mobile uh, you know library services so before doing that do you have sufficient digital contents in your library and you should also see it's also very essential to verify whether all uh, whether or not all digital materials are available are compatible with mobile devices or not so there might be digital content available but you can only read it on a uh, maybe on a uh, on a maybe computer on a using a website is that particular content is readable or compatible in a mobile phones so that need to be checked if not then library need to uh, subscribe for digital resources which are externally available also so after acquisition of adequate resources then we need to create these hyperlinks of uh, urls and then arrange it in such a way that the target groups can use it so then you start distributing as per the requirement whenever the requirement comes you start sharing those information so resource identification has to be done and then finally after thoroughly going through all the above mentioned that that is identifying the framework identifying whether it is required or not checking out your mobile infrastructure and, and availability of required uh, staff looking at the resource identification finally you are going to implement it so the final implementation is accomplished only when the librarians or the the organizing committee of a library or the head library who or it might be is satisfied with its current situation so he's checked yes i have the availability of infrastructure i have the resources i have my quality of staff is good my staff is you uh, know we have excellent staff who can uh, in, implement the technological changes so all these things to be in the requirements you uh, know of mobile uh, services so this has to be checked and then continuously uh, you need to uh, take feedback from all the concerned stakeholders also so basically what are the things needed for mobile based library services so what do we require <coughs> so when we say mobile yes the first one is the digital library right so that's very important so how many libraries are digital enabled libraries can i have the response from the audience how many libraries are digital enabled libraries Uh, arif sir can you help me with the response please any library that has digitally enabled library yeah just still not no response madam okay <coughs> someone is telling not many okay so this is most important all all the uh, request all the librarians to go back and think on all these things and see whether your library is digital library and as i said 
quoting from charles darwin it is the need of the art that you need to integrate technology in your library otherwise library becomes mere warehouse of books so it's very important for each each and every one of you to think and see that your library is converted into digital library and you need to integrate library automation and management software with web mobile technology interface you might be already having a library automation system in your uh, uh, library you just need to see that it is linked with the mobile system right mobile information technology can we move further sir yeah so the website with mobile view interface so you also need to have a website and you also need to have a, a, a no a mobile view of the same website or mobile view where it becomes easier for students to access the information and uh, you also need to ensure that your staff are trained in dealing with mobile technology pro in providing the library services so these are the basic things that is required you need to question yourself does my library is digitally enabled library does my library automation management software i can can i enable it can i integrate it with mobile technology interface well, i have a website can i make it this website a mobile view interface where students can access information on their mobile phones and do i have the trained staff who can bring these changes who can implement the changes without much difficulty so these are the basic things that are needed for mobile based library services yeah we'll move to the next slide okay there are a lot of uh, mobile library services if you are using it okay so remember library is it's it's a service center where librarians provide services to all the readers all the uh seekers or users of informational needs librarians introduce many ict based uh, library services in their library so that they can save time of users so one such thing is alert or notification service so libraries can provide alert services to their users regarding latest arrivals or due date so we have uh, library sms services so text messages text message alerts are sent to the users this gives uh, you know some kind of announcement or give a reminders and whatever the information the, the user might be requested so they may make they may send an sms uh, say news and event reminder service so this service sends reminders to users about the news the uh, the exhibitions that is happening or maybe the instructions that it needs to send so all these news and notification services uh, you no know, are provided there might be due date reminder and renewal request service so in this service you are sending a reminder to user when they borrowed the book or when it is due further if the due date is you no know, nearing then you will also send a link where they can click on the link and renew it so there is a uh, renewal request hyperlink embedded in a text message so a person can renew whatever the book he has borrowed and then uh, if there is a new book that has arrived or new title uh, that has arrived and you want to notify your uh, users so this service uh, helps you to uh, send an sms alert and the users will be getting to know about this uh, the new arrivals in your library then there could be multimedia borrowing notifications also multimedia content that you can share it or Uh, request uh, any new book comes maybe a customer would have asked, or maybe a user would have asked or a student would have asked for the information so you can uh, send a sms alert to them so there are a lot of things that alerts can be given on uh, through notifications you can send it then we have learning services very important this is right um, this has become uh, very very important of late due to uh, pandemic situation mobile phones are best for e learning concept so academic libraries can easily provide e resources through mobile technology and promote e learning distance learning and many other research activities i'm i'm sure most of the institutions would have thought on these lines of providing e learning services then you can also provide browsing services so libraries provide a range of e resources to the users 
uh, with the help of smartphones, they can easily search the library database and get their needed information. So users can easily search library online public access catalog. So there is a catalog each and every library has, which is publicly available. So a student can go through that, find out what is the status of available resources. He can browse through the information. OK, so we have this mobile online uh, public access catalog. So libraries are providing access to their uh, online uh, public access catalog through uh, mobile optimized websites. Say, for example, we have uh, New York Public Library. OK, uh, they have the site which support mobile opaque and allows users to browse through library locations and they get to know a uh, lot many things through that website. And uh, database browsing. So here library uh, provides access to variety of its resources and databases. The users can just enter search terms and see the results that are specifically uh, no, designed for mobile view. So this is again, uh, there is a WorldCat mobile application, okay, uh, which uses, uh, no, uh, which allows the users to search. You can search, find books and any other material in the local uh, libraries through this application. So there is a lot of applications which help you in this. Then there is mobile applications. Some libraries have developed mobile applications for smartphones. There is apps itself. Libraries have, come, have themselves have come up with apps. Say, for example, the District Columbia Public Library. They have their uh, they have developed an iPhone application. So there is an iPhone app uh, that includes uh, all these mobile online public access catalog and uh, so it becomes easy. Uh, it provides information on hours and locations of local libraries. All the information is available on this app. So you can come up with the mobile applications. Then e-resources with mobile interface. Many publishers, they are creating e-books. A lot of e-content is being developed now. So there are e-books, e-magazines, and these content are compatible with mobile devices so that users can easily read them. So some of the publishers are already delivering ebooks, both in, in nowadays you find in the text form as well as in an audio form, and that are all accessible uh, via your mobile phones. So it offers access to a variety of databases and digital resources. It, anything, it might be ebooks, e journals, web database, audiobooks, streaming music, films, images, so a lot many things. And uh, the best part is lot, uh, the large collection of these uh, you know, audio books are available free also. There are so freely available books are there. There are subscription based services are also available. So you can see that these kind of facilities can be provided to your users. And then you can also uh, send any photos or videos or audios even through multimedia uh, messaging services that MM facilities on mobile devices. So this is another important aspect of uh, library services. Then we have mobile collections. Now, third party content providers, they are partnering with libraries to deliver audio books, e-books, uh, then music, it might be streaming music or films or images or anything on mobile devices. Uh, there is overdrive service, which is uh, supported on uh, numerous mobile devices. And this is uh, from, uh, no, this is applicable on BlackBerry smartphones. And uh, another example is there's Duke University, which has created a free iPhone application called Duke Mobile. And this also has, contains a lot of information on digital library resources, uh, which anybody can easily access uh, through these uh, apps. Then text reference services. So suppose if library receives, there's a lot of inquiries coming in and which requires a very brief response. Uh, maybe some, uh, there is might be a student who wants to know the dictionary definitions or they want to know some kind of facts or service information. Then libraries ca librarians can provide instant answers or maybe the links to the articles or links to the references in real time. So there is text reference services also that libraries can provide. Then there is mobile document supply. Now the the environment, the mobile environment and technology, they present a very new opportunities. So you may not go to a library to get your membership done. You can send the documents request, scan the images, right? It becomes easier for you. Everything, a library 
can make use of this mobile technology not only to deal with its students but it but it it might be with everybody it is associated with so the administrative operation becomes automated so with this uh, do mobile document supply right so the online marketing online uh, process happens there is electronic data interchange taking place the management of books becomes easier everything is possible with this mobile document uh, supply and then we have mobile library instructions so some libraries are uh, basically offering uh, library instructional materials through mobile platforms uh, for example we have uh, say east california university research first aid so they send a series of podcast for the library researchers who can make use of this mobile library instructions then there is a library uh, virtual or audio tours so if if a uh, user is very new okay so if he need to be oriented and uh, so you have you want to bring the non users to the libraries to make them read so library virtuals are a very important uh, services that you can provide so here uh, library users who don't have time or inclination they don't want to attend uh, on the spot they don't want to come to the library or uh, attend on spot uh, orientation program they can get access to library uh, tools or, or tools on their mobile devices itself so this is very quick inexpensive and you don't need uh, too much of staff also for doing these things so these are the uh, some of the uh, mobile li library services that you can provide uh, can we go to the next slide i next slide sir go to the next slide sir it's there madam sources for creating the site okay for me mobile library sir okay it is only okay that's visible to me here which slide you are in sir mm -hmm. 16 which slide? Uh, means 16 slide sixteenth slide you are in okay yeah i hope no, audience no. can see no, that because i'm able to see that yeah so uh, i hope uh, audience can see that there are a lot of sources for creating the uh, websites also so maybe the there are number of sources i have listed few sources here maybe the librarians can uh, try and check on these things so there is a uh, mobi site galo yo mobi google sites wire nordvix all these things are available so you can uh, create websites and mobile applications uh, for mobile phones in case uh, required otherwise you can always uh, there are a lot of many vendors available for these things you can have a tie up with those vendors so let's move to the next uh, slide sir so there are a lot of many uh, uh, popular technology mobile technologies like i hope uh, i am in this uh, have you changed the slide sir yes ma'am okay yes, you are in 17 17 slide yeah yes 19 slide you are in 19 slide okay okay so there are, i think we skipped one slide so there are more, uh, most popular uh, mobile technologies maybe the organizers can share these details uh, to all of you so we are uh, okay now what is the skills required so we understood why mobile technology is very important what are the benefits that it brings in and uh, then what is the requirement uh, no as a librarians before you set up these uh, uh, mobile library services so all those things we saw now as a librarians what skills that are that are required for the librarians so there are uh, basically not much but still you need to have a knowledge of hardware and software of mobile devices i'm sure most of you are uh, having this knowledge of software and hardware devices so that shouldn't be a issue for most of the library staff so this is one uh, important skill then the second one you need to be creating or tailoring mobile optimized content 
so that's again a challenging task right there is lot of digital content but how do we tailor this content for use of mobile phone uh am i audible Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So I could not. Uh, I am unable to see myself here. Okay, fine. So, so the, uh, as I said, whether the content what is available, whether that can be, you uh, know, converted into mobile optimized content, which could be interactive and participative library home pages. you might be creating virtual tours you might be having lot of database so that is second thing but you should be able to create it and third you need to be familiar with internet and internet services like using emails or sms or in case of uh, spam how do you prevent it so the basic things you need to be aware of then you need to develop an expertise in protecting the privacy and security levels as Uh, more personalized information is involved so this is again very important so how uh, well you can provide these digital services how well you will maintain the privacy and security that is again an important skill that need to be uh, librarians should be enhancing and then skills relating to searching and navigating through mobile devices so we have mobile web applications so uh, they should be having a knowledge on all these things and then uh, skills with interacting with uh, users right basically the smartphone users uh, do we have a mobile friendly web pages do we have third party intermediary clients how are we going to deal with them how are we going to interact with them so those skills need to be kept in mind and uh, finally skills relating to training and user orientation right user also users also should be oriented so uh, 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 as a librarian you should be training and orient the users and market these uh, digital services to your uh, stakeholders so it might be your uh, students basically your students right so these are the skills some of the skills that is required uh, for the librarians to have it so we'll just move we are concluding here we'll just move into the last uh, slide i hope i'm back now yes uh can we move to the last slide sir oh, we are talking about technology and i am myself finding lot of technological glitches here uh, think of the uh, students from the rural <coughs> yeah so it's very difficult for them to access the information so you need to do a lot of need analysis before you go for uh, digital uh, content of the library so uh, to conclude Uh, libraries in the present era will continue to link people that there's no stopping on this so libraries link people to knowledge and they assist in discovering whatever the reader is looking for and this is one aspect that libraries will continue but then the future of internet depends on mobile technology so we have this mobile technology which is ha, ऑपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल द लाइब्रेरियन and all the li uh, no uh, information uh, institutions you need to rethink remodel your existing services you need to adopt to the mobile technology facilities remember the quote of charles darwin that is very much very 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 much required and you need to keep this in mind so the it it is not strongest of the species that survives not the most intelligent that survives it is the one that is most adaptable to change so it is the duty of duty and responsibilities of all the librarians to adapt to the changes to please do change as per the requirements of time and see that your libraries are not just 
mere warehouse of books where nobody walks in you have to ensure that your libraries from physical libraries you have converted them into digital libraries and from digital libraries you need to convert them into mobile libraries so that's the need of the r so uh, i hope the little presentation what i did is of uh, little use to all of you so uh, i hand my uh, presentation here and i thank all the organizers for providing me this opportunity to share few information with you all arif sir thank you ma'am any queries or any questions we can take so thank you one and all thank you madam thank you hello arif sir hello hello ha ah, hello sir ha ah, arif sir हाँ uh, सर uh, वो ऑडिबल कर दीजिए सबको क्वेश्चंस वगैरह होंगे तो पूछेंगे ऑल दे ऑडियो सर मैडम का नाम और मेरा मेरा वीडियो स्क्रीन ऑन कर दीजिए ऑन कर दीजिए वीडियो बंद है मेरा वीडियो सर अलाउ कर दिया सर हेलो अलाउ कर दिया हाँ सर अच्छा सर हेलो यस सर सर ऐसा मेरा एक सजेशन था कि जैसे जितने भी ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड जितने भी लाइब्रेरीज हैं भी कनेक्टेड एंड टू द डिफरेंट सेंटर ऑफ अदर वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड में जितनी भी इन इन लाइब्रेरी वेलकम कैफे वगैरह में सर आपका वॉइस सर आपका वॉइस हेलो आप मुझे आरिफ सर आरिफ सर हां सर वो मिनरल वॉक मैडम 1 बजे ज्वाइन होने वाली है 10 मिनट के लिए थोड़ा हां ठीक है सर हम लोग कंटिन्यू रखेंगे 1 पीएम 1 पीएम हां ठीक है सर ओके जब तक आप उसके आप उस... में कोई बात करना चाहते हैं तो बात कर सकता है सर हाँ हाँ जी आ, काटे सर काटे सर हाँ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन हेलो सर क्या हुआ अभी सर हाँ हेलो काटे सर हाँ बोलो Uh, hello if you uh, have any questions please uh, ask to madam hello hello please uh, my hello i am audible hello yes sir you are audible हेलो रिक्वेस्ट आदर्स टू म्यूट यस सर यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन हेलो सो यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन मैडम Sir, is there any questions? 
no madam till now no question they are just telling very good informative session like that hello am i audible ah ha. yes madam yes yes. Ah, yes madam yes madam yes yes yeah uh, shall i start or uh, you intro uh, you are introducing yes yes, yes madam start start madam hello hello madam ha yes. start madam you are welcome madam uh, it's a moment of great pleasure for me uh, for the warm invite of uh, the elias professionals over here and uh, the topic is on the mobile technologies which is quite recent and uh, relevant rather i should say in the current era because what we are witnessing a sea change all over the globe as far as the library and information world is concerned as far as the service industry is concerned right from the hotel industry to hospitality industry and including the libraries we are witnessing a sea change as far as the behavior of our users is concerned and ultimately we are witnessing a tremendous impact on our services and what exactly is the impact is change in the nature of provision of service especially using the high end technologies because currently students especially research scholars and the faculty members they are expecting from us to provide the remote level services they are not interested in visiting physically because of the pandemic situation and really we are not aware how far the situation will go on currently the scene is different tomorrow the scene will be different so whatever is the situation we have to face right so in the present situation the demand is to provide the services using remote accessibility and in this current situation mobile technologies use is the right use uh, in this regard i would like to share few slides to you uh, let me check whether uh, i am able to share it through the Uh, can you tell me uh, the service uh, the upload mode is not uh, enable will you please enable that option slide mode hello yes madam arif sir kitanjali you can also present madam there is a button in center open no that share. is not that is not enable when you click that open share tray okay doesn't matter i'll go on as it is right okay because the option is not enable for me here okay yes. what we were discussing about the use of mobile technologies see first of all uh, why we are expecting use of mobile technologies why our users they are expecting use of mobile technologies because users are tremendously using their mobiles even we are using our mobiles every now and then rather more than our uh, laptops more than our laptops and pcs we are spending a lot of time on mobiles we are carrying our smartphones even uh, the gadget uh, mobile like gadgets in our hands very easily and users are expecting from us that libraries should give these remote access services using their own mobile devices i'll give a small example if we are working on a research project and if we uh, prepare a questionnaire uh, using google doc or uh, survey uh, survey monkey module and if we uh, distribute that questionnaire to our uh, respondent uh, population then immediately you will get more response as compared to email questionnaires why why it happens because you the uh, population very easily can access your prepared questionnaire so here the accessibility yes. plays very important role accessibility yeah, is very but important then i'll agree for for the customers now being a service industry what is required for us our service our service is the important domain and totally we have to focus our services the provided services are reaching up to the expectations or not are we satisfying our users expectation nowadays in pandemic situation what are their needs they are 
expecting from us reference library and window service even uh, the mm, mobile recommendations n number of services you can generate users feedback user survey so such type of services are quite popular among the users even uh, users can browse your library they can claim your title on the basis of the on the basis of the provided library web page so these are quite relevant and high in demand services we should focus on such services in current era and i think in future also these services will require even we uh, come out of even we will come out of this uh, pandemic post pandemic phase even then only they will demand why they will demand number one because of quick accessibility they will uh, able to get the quick access through such services number two comfort because it will save their energy there is no need for them to rush here and there to access information in earlier scenario it is not the case in earlier scenario for accessing one thesis you have to visit physically for n number of times to your traditional library now it is not the case on your single mobile you can download entire thesis from shodhganga so this is the importance of digital library and mobile services and users are quite smart they are full aware what exactly is available in the market for us it is required to gear up to adapt to adapt the new technologies so that we will align with the changing situation and we can provide more better and effective services because quality lies in effectivity so whatever is required as per the need we have to mold we have to adopt then only we will be able to sustain ourselves because sustainability is again the major issues faced by many of the service industries in the market so libraries are also not exceptional for that even the entire educational hub facing this sustainability mode because the physical visits of the students are totally stopped and many universities are conducting their exams through online mode even the results are declared in an online mode so in such situation there is no option for the libraries than to switch over the services to online mode including the mobile technologies so be relevant try to strengthen your uh, capabilities and upgrade yourself consistently for becoming more relevant and more sustainable i thank you so much for inviting me and giving me this valuable opportunity to uh, elaborate my views in this regard thank you madam Thanks, thank you madam thank you thank you thank you so much thank you chalukya sir you can give the vote of thanks okay okay sir okay thank you uh, good afternoon everyone respected invitees party i feel honor to get this opportunity to conclude the online international conference on mobile technologies use of mobile devices in library so very useful for using mobile technologies but organizing international conference is a challenging task this cannot be success without support from every corner and blessings it is time to convey our gratitude to all who have extended their support to make this event successful at the outset on the behalf of organizing committee i gratitude to our principal for his blessing and motivations i am happy to offer sincere thanks to uh, dr gitanjali madam active guidance and support and also i have offer my uh, sincere thanks to dr meenal ok madam professor and coordinator of ignu imcc pune we are thank also we are thankful to istim foundation bijapur for their motivation on behalf of organizing thanks goes to our joint head dr d dadpe sir and dr yan r kate sir for his encouragement we thank every staff media for their active support doing front our special thanks goes to all students participants who have worked hard 
for success of this event. At the end, I sincerely express who directly or indirectly helped us to accomplish the event. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, Arif, sir. Arif, sir. Ah, ah, sir. Uh, kindly share the feedback link in that uh, chat group. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Shall we wind up, sir? Ah, yes, Thank sir. You. We can. Thank you, Chaluke, sir. Thank, Thank you, Kadeh, sir. Yes. Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Minalok, madam. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Feedback for yes, uh, feedback the link will be shared in that uh, chat group. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank okay. you. Please send the sir. Please send the feedback form. Hello, Darby, sir. Uh, hello, Darby, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, what? Thank you very much, all the dignitaries, participants, madam. Uh, in this program, use of mobile devices in library is a new concept in today's age of information. In this regard, we have organized this in conference. <clears throat> I am very happy to all the <clears throat> uh, participants to join in our uh, program. Thank you very much. Ah, that is, sir. Ah, what is it? Ah, what is it? Ah, what is it? Ah, what is it? Hello. Hello. Ah, hello, sir. Arif, sir. Ah, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Exit card with the Okay, okay. Recording, who got an assault? Lila, nine. 